No, what better place would there be to find a friend? I tell you, Professor, that's absolutely ridiculous. Golly, that doesn't sound friendly. I've heard enough, Professor. Now you're through. Here, Professor, let me help you up. Uh, thanks, little fellow. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Someday the dean will see I'm right. Right in what, Professor? That there really is a man in the moon. Of course there is. I could help you meet the man in the moon. Hey, you could? I'd fly you there to meet him, but I'm afraid you're a bit too heavy for me. Well, I, I was planning to fly there myself anyway. Really, Professor? How? Come, I'll show you. Golly, a rocket ship. What's holding you back, Professor? My rockets just don't have sufficient horsepower to get me there. Horsepower? Wait right here, Professor. I'll be right back. Here's your horsepower, Professor. Meet Nightmare, my horse. A, a ghost horse? Okay, Nightmare, rockets away! What was that? I'll take a look. Why, hello, little star. What happened? I was falling. Luckily, I landed on this strange thing. This is a rocket from Earth bound for the moon. Gee, you saved me from hitting Earth. You see, us stars try not to land, but sometimes we just get tired. Come inside and rest a while. Professor, this is a little star who got tired and was falling from the sky. Oh, poor fellow must be hungry. Here, try some milk and cheese. Thank you, but we've plenty of that up here with the Milky Way. And how about something strictly from Earth, like uh, bubblegum? Golly! An Earth-made balloon! Say, that's just what you'll need when you're tired. Just hang from your own balloon. Professor, you're a star saver! Hmm, moonbeams. We're in the vicinity of the moon. I'm going to check Nightmare. Nightmare, how about landing on that moonbeam? I have an idea that will make the professor very happy. What's up? Professor, this moonbeam leads right to the moon. I'm sure your rockets have the power for the short trip. How wonderful. I can now zoom to the moon on my own power. Professor, are you all right? Uh, I'm okay, thanks to this swamp I landed in. <laughs> That's no swamp, Professor. That's the green cheese of the moon. Well, Casper, where can we find the man in the moon? See, there he is, painting up for the half moon period. I excuse me, Casper, but I just can't wait to meet him. Boy, oh boy, am I glad to meet you. Oh, a Martian. Wait, wait, I'm a creature from Earth. No, oh, yikes, oh, that's even worse. But, but, but I'm a friend of Casper, the friendly ghost. <laughs> Why didn't you say so the first time? <laughs> well, any friend of theirs is a friend of mine. Now that I've met you, Mr. Man on the Moon, I can't wait to get back to Earth and tell my dean. <laughs> oh, you better leave immediately. Quick, Casper, take him back, take him back. He's already starting to moon. Oh, golly, now he's moony. What do we do? <laughs> I think it's too late, it's too late. He's moonstruck. <laughs> there he goes, baiting like a dog. He's heading for the edge of the moon. I hope he has sense enough not to jump off. Go! He jumped off! Oh, I told you he was moonstruck. Come on, Nightmare. We've got to save him. There he goes, Nightmare. Where am I? What happened? You fell off the moon, Professor. And lucky for you, right into the Milky Way. But how do I get down to Earth from here? Say, Professor, have you any more bubble gum? Uh, yes, I do. Why? Remember the fallen stars? I get it. I'll chew a whole package. <gasps> Fine, Professor. I'll guide you back to Earth. Easy does it. Okay, Professor, we made it. Now I must rush to the Dean. I wonder what the Dean will say. Uh, once and for all, Professor, to prove to you there is no man on the moon, let's go to the observatory and look through the telescope. Agreed. <laughs> a man on the moon, a man 
Imagine that. He believes me. I wonder what convinced him. <laughs> Professor, come back soon. And don't forget Casper and Nightmare, Man in the Moon. Something. Something. That's a dandy name. No, no, no. You don't understand. Something. Boy, what a name. Oh, well. Maybe something will do. Come on, something. We've got to find your home. <laughs> now what's wrong? I don't want to go to my home. I want to go to your home. <laughs> okay. I'll take you home with me for the night. Let's hurry. I'm afraid of the dark. But you're a ghost. But I'm just a baby ghost, and I haven't learned any ghostly ways yet. Well, I can teach you. Oh, boy. Can you teach me to fly? Okay. A lot depends on the takeoff. Whee! I can fly! Now, Casper, will you teach me how to become invisible? Sure, it's easy. All you have to do is... Gee, is that all there is to it? Sure, try it. Well, here goes, Casper. Whee! It worked! I'm invisible! Now come on home, and tomorrow I'll teach you some other things. Goody! I keep hearing noises. This place must be haunted. Don't be scared. It's only something crying. I know it's something, but what? Just a minute. I'll show you. Stop crying, and I'll tell you how to become visible again. Now, you... Thanks, Casper. Here I am. Look, a baby ghost. His name is something, and he's lost. Great. We'll keep him and help him grow up to be a big, bad ghost. Boy, that'll be fun. My friend Casper's teaching me how to be a big, bad ghost. No, you've got it wrong, something. I'm teaching you ghostly ways so that you can be helpful to others. Fully. Splendid. I can't wait to take him on a scare raid. Can you fly? No, Casper taught me. Wow, he's going to grow up to be just like us. Hey, he went right to the roof. Oh, boy, I'm going to have some fun. <gasps> Drat that pesky kid. <laughs> Don't they look funny? They're awfully mad at you. No, we're not. Huh? He suits us fine. Yeah, shows he'll grow up like us. But I want something to be our friendly ghost. Bah, one friendly ghost around a house is enough. What else can you do, something? I can disappear, like this. See? Splendid. At any rate, Caspi, you're a good teacher. I like helping others. Come on, something, show yourself. I'll show them. Upsie daily. Hey! What happened? Something. It's you. Who'd you expect? Mother Goose? That does it. Wait, he didn't mean any harm. I'll do some harm when I get my hands on them. Goody, they want to play tag. Please, stop. Which way did he go? This away. No, that away. Something. 
drop that stick. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look, he's sorry for what he's done, aren't you? Oh, sure. But not much. This boy has got to go. He's too bad, even for us. Don't worry, something. I'll stay around until you're found. Something. My little baby, I've found you. Mama! What do you know? Something really is his name. Are you all right, baby? Sure. Casper took care of me. When I grow up, I want to be friendly, just like him. Now, isn't that something?
A frightful visit. A ghoul idea. Thanks for the inspiration, Casper. I've got to go to Mother Gooseland and see what I can do. Mother Gooseland. Good folks, welcome. <laughs> Golly, sounds like someone's in trouble. I'm Casper, the friendly ghost. Can I help you? I'm little Bo Peep. I've lost my sheep. Three horrid ghosts scared them away. I should have known. <laughs> That's little boy Blue. The ghosts opened the gate and let out his sheep and cow. Listen, it's coming from the top of the hill. Why, it's Jack and Jill. Gosh, we're sorry it got splashed. Oh, that's all right. What happened? Three ghosts scared us by the whale. Yes, mean ghosts. Yow. Uh-oh, sounds like more trouble. Bye now. Why, it's Jack Be Nimble. What happened, Jack? Well, just as I was going to jump over the candlestick, well... I know the rest. Those bad ghosts booed you. I'll say they booed me. I never jumped so high before. And when I came down, I tore my pants on the candlestick handle. Gosh. Do you know someone who could sew you up? Sure. A girlfriend of mine. Let's go see her now. Okay, let's. Boy, am I mad. Little Miss Muffet, we were just coming over to visit you. Visit me? I've been visited already. Three horrible ghosts scared me off my tuffet and then stole my curds and whey. I'm furious. Curds and whey? What's that? Oh, just some milky water and cheese. <gasps> this stuff ain't very filling. Well, we got it for nothing. What's next on the scare program? We gotta find someone to scare soon, or we're gonna lose our ability. Characters of Mother Goose Land, I've called you all together to hear Casper's plan. My friends, this is my plan. If you all try your best not to appear scared when the ghostly trio come to scare you, they may give up and go home. Sounds good. We'll try it. It might work. I just hope they don't come to me. I might get awfully scared. Land sakes. Me too. Now who can we scare? Hey, look, the black mouse. <laughs> scared the clock and a mouse couldn't be wider. No, 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 sorry, Casper. I wasn't the least bit scared. But they won't scare me. <laughs> they scared the wall away. 
We're not getting anywhere, Mother Goose. I know, Casper. If you don't think of something to drive away those ghosts, I just don't know what we'll do. I have another idea, but I must get a friend to help us. Don't be away long. Wendy, I need your help in Mother Goose Land. The ghostly trio are raising mischief there. But what can I do, Casper? Use your magic powers. I learned once the ghosts are afraid of giants. This is Wendy, a good little witch girl. May she borrow your goose to make a little switch? Of course she may. A switch? Boop. Abracadabra, half a quart is a pint. But now I'll change a goose into a big, friendly giant. At your service, Wendy. This is going to be our biggest scare. Howdy, fellas. A giant. A lake. There's no boat here. Only this old tub. The tub has a hole in it. How stupid can we get? We forgot we can fly! Come back and visit us soon. Thank you, Casper and Wendy. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thanks for your autographed book of Mother Goose stories. 